Hey guys, it's Janet here. So this video was inspired by April B. I'll leave a link to her channel down below. I actually purchased my dresser at Ikea and it was about $35 to $40. And here I'm just showing how easy it was to assemble. But if you already have a dresser at home that you would like to use, then you're already one step ahead of us. Next is spray painting. This is the one I use. You can use any brand as long as it has a silver metallic finish to it. And as you can see, I'm only focusing on spray painting the edges and the sides. Anything that the mirrors will not cover, you want to spray paint. And like I said, here I'm painting the edges of the drawer and I'm focusing on the sides as well because when you open up the drawer, you know, you see the sides. Dry time just depends on the paint you use, but I let mine dry overnight. So this is the mirror adhesive I used. It was about 4 to $5 and I also had to buy a Colt gun because I couldn't find mine and that was only about $6. Moving on to the star of the show, April mentions if you purchase your mirror at Lowe's, you can get them cut to your measurements for free, but if you're willing to spend a couple more dollars for a better quality mirror, you can go check out your local glass and mirror store, but like I said, a couple more dollars. So taking your Colt gun, you want to apply a generous amount of adhesive to the back of your mirrors, you know, just do your name in the back like my boyfriend's doing here. And if you have anyone that can help you with this part, that would probably be a bonus because you want to, you know, get it as perfect as possible. Next step is super important. You want to apply as much pressure. I just put a bunch of yearbooks overnight. So these are the knobs that I purchased off of Amazon. They were a little over $10, I believe. I'll leave a link down below. But they come in a pack of 10 and they were just so beautiful and so shiny. I fell in love with them. To stick the knobs on, I'm just going to use this E6000 glue. Next step is super important as well. You want to be as precise as possible. So you want to take your measuring tape and mark where you want your knobs to go. So from the sides, I went about 6 inches in. And then from bottom to top, I went about 3.5 inches. So here I'm filming my third and last drawer. So what I found helpful was um, the more glue I put on, the more the knobs tend to move around. So I just try to put, I mean, a little amount of glue, I guess, if that makes any sense. Enough for it to glue on, but not for it to move around. And you'll see me fixing it with my measuring tape, just trying to get them as even as possible. And I'll be going back and forth. So once I let the drawer knobs dry, I just wiped it all down with some Windex and that was basically it. And this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And if you guys decide to try this yourselves, don't forget to send me pictures. And thanks for watching.